Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to start a new topic, Chapter 8, Rotational of Rigid Body. So in this video, we are going to discuss 8.1, Rotational Kinematic. Okay, so first we must start with the angular displacement. So angular displacement is defined as the angle through which a point or the line has been rotated in a specific direction about a specific exit. So we can write as theta equals to S over R. Okay, and the unit we use is in radian. Okay, and we need to know also the conventions factor where 1 revolution is equal to 2 pi and also is equal to 360 degree. Okay, next one is the average angular velocity omega. The rate of the change of the angular displacement or we can write as omega equals to change of the angular displacement over change of time okay and the unit we use is in radian per second okay next we go to instantaneous angular velocity is the rate of the change of the angular displacement at a particular time okay at that moment okay so we can write as uh, omega instantaneous equals to angular displacement over change of the time and next one will goes to the average angular acceleration. Okay, angular acceleration is the rate of change of angular velocity, or we can write as alpha equals to change of the angular velocity over change of time. And the unit that we use is in radian per second square. And then instantaneous angular acceleration is the rate of change of the angular velocity at a particular time. Okay, at that moment. Okay, we can also write it as d omega over dt. Exercise 1. Express the following angle in radian 45 degree. So as we know, our 2 pi is equal to 360 degree. So 45 degree, 45 degree over 360 degree equals to x over 2 pi. So therefore, x is equal to 0 0.25 pi in radian okay next 60 degree okay 60 degree over 360 degree is equal to x over 2 pi so x will equal to 0 0.33 pi radian next one is 90 degree over 360 degree is equal to x over 2 pi so therefore x will equal to 0 0.5 pi unit in radian 360 degree so we know that 360 degree is equals to 2 pi okay so our unit is in radian okay next one is 445 degree so 445 degree over 360 degree is equals to x over 2 pi so therefore, x will equals to 2.47 pi unit in radian. Okay, so this is question number one. Question number two. Calculate the angular velocity of the second hand, minute hand and hour hand of the clock. Stay in the radian per second. And after that, find what is the angular acceleration in each case. Okay, so first uh, we have the second hand okay where second hand if you turn in one round the period is equals to 60 second so t will equal to 60 second therefore omega will equal to 2 pi over t where you substitute t equals to 60 so 2 pi over 60 you will get 0 0.11 radian per second okay next we will go to minute hand where minute hand when you turn in one round 
period for the minute hand is 60 minute 60 minute so omega equals to 2 pi over t where t is equal to 60 minutes so we change it into 60 second therefore the answer for angular acceleration is equal to 1.74 times 10 to the power of negative 3 radian per second so next our hand so for our hand one complete cycle period is equal to 12 hours omega equals to 2 pi over t where you substitute t equals to 12 hours okay we must change into seconds so 12 hour times 60 minutes times 60 seconds so therefore omega you will get 1.45 times 10 to the power of negative 4 radian per second okay next we want to find the angular acceleration for each case so omega for this all cases actually is constant so therefore, angular acceleration is equal to zero. Question number three. If a disc of 30 cm in diameter, meaning that the radius is only uh, 15 cm, rolls 65 meter along a straight line without slipping, calculate the number of revolutions it makes in the disc process. So we want to check how many revolutions this disc can roll. Okay, so before that, we need to find first what is the angular displacement where we have S and also we have the radius so we can find theta equals to S over R S is 65 meter R is uh, 15 cm so we convert it into 0 0.15 meter so therefore, we will get 433.33 radian and we know that one revolution is equal to 2 pi so we want to check how many revolutions if let's say theta equals to 433.33 radian okay so we can use ratio to find x over one revolution equals to 433.33 over 2 pi Okay, so therefore, x is equal to 69 revolution. Okay, next we go to question 3b. We need to find the angular displacement would be true. So we want to find theta. Actually, theta we already found where it's equal to 433.33 radian. Okay, so we can convert it into pi. Okay, so we divide it by pi. Therefore, we will get 138 pi radian okay next we go to questions number four question number four is given a certain period of time the angular displacement of swinging the door is described as theta equals to 5 plus 10 t plus 2 t square okay so determine the angular displacement angular speed and also angular accelerations when t equals to three seconds so we substitute into the equation the first one, angular displacement is equal to 5 plus 10 t. We substitute 3 plus 2 t square. So, therefore, we will get 5 plus 30 plus 18. So, therefore, the answer, the first one we will get is 53 radian. Okay, next one, we want to find the angular speed. Where angular speed is equal to d theta over dt so we differentiate against theta okay we differentiate 5 we will get 0 we differentiate 10 t we will get 10 we differentiate 2 t square we will get 4 t then you substitute into the equations where 10 plus 4 t t is equal to 3 second so finally we will get 22 radian per second Okay, last one, we want to find the angular acceleration where it's equal to d omega over dt where omega here, we just now, we already differentiate omega here is equal to 10 plus 4t okay, and then we differentiate over t 
So differentiate 10, you will get 0. Differentiate 40, you will get 4. So the answer is actually 4 radian per second square. So that's all for today. Thank you.